Welcome to another My Classes tip. Today, I'd like to share with you information on how to search for and import learning objects from the Canvas Commons. Commons is a learning object repository that enables educators to find and import resources shared by individuals at Salisbury University and other institutions. Currently, learning objects shared by Salisbury University members will only be available within our institution. Learning objects can be examples of a wide range of components like modules, assignments, quizzes, discussions, pages, and other things. To access the Canvas Commons, log into My Classes and on the left global navigation bar, click on the Commons icon, which looks like a C with an arrow. The first time that you log into the Commons, it might ask you for permission to enter. Click Accept and you will be taken to the search screen. At the top of the screen, you will always see the featured objects, which might be a special learning activity or a template. If you are interested in one of these items, you will not need to do a search. Just click on that item and follow the steps we will discuss a little later in this video, or refer to the KB article on Canvas Commons, which gives you the step-by-step -step instructions. For this video though, I'm going to take you through how to search for learning objects first. By default, the filter is set for Salisbury University. However, when looking for content, you may want to expand it to all, which includes public resources. Simply click the X at the bottom of the search criteria for Salisbury University at the top here, and it will open your search to everything available. Now, let's search for the Civil War and Reconstruction. By entering the topic Civil War and Reconstruction into the search bar, we are given all kinds of information. However, maybe you are only looking for modules that you can add to your course. You can refine your search by applying a filter to the search. Click on the filter icon in the upper right corner. We can then decide to narrow our search to only modules. And then, scrolling down, you can select for the content that is appropriate for the undergraduate and graduate level. Since we have already changed the scope of our search, we won't have to change this last filter unless you want to narrow it to the SU only content at this point. When you have set your filters, close the filter window and you will be presented with the results from the search. This narrows our search results and we can review and select a particular item. For example, let's look at this module on Texas during the Civil War and Reconstruction. By clicking on the item, you can get some information about the learning object. Unfortunately, you are not going to be able to see the actual content from this screen. However, we are able to tell what items are contained in the module. As we can see here, it contains pages, quizzes, a discussion, and an assignment. Clicking on an individual item, such as the page listed at the top of the unit list, you will get a short summary of what is contained in that element. You can page through the module by clicking on the Next button in the upper right side of the display. To view the actual content, you must import the learning object into a course. Since we cannot see the content, you will want to be able to review it before using it in a live course. We strongly recommend, therefore, that you import it into a playground course first. Click on the blue Import Download button on the right side of your window. 
select the desired course from the list of courses on the right hand side of commons and then select import into this course. You will receive a message indicating whether the import was successful. You can then return to your list of courses to review the materials. Because this particular learning object was a module, you can see in our playground course that the module came in and was added at the bottom. Now we can look at the details for each of the items within the module. At this point, you will review the materials and decide which information you would like to keep, modify, or not use in your course. Any information imported into a playground course can be added to your regular course. For the next part of this video, we will look at how you can add materials to the Canvas Commons and share with your peers. First, locate the course in which you have a particular learning object that you want to share. Locate the learning object based on its type from the left navigation bar. If the learning object is an assignment, go to the assignments listing. If it is a module, go to the modules listing. If it is a single page, you will need to go to the pages listing and then view all pages. Locate the object in the list on the appropriate page. In this example, we will use an assignment, which is a quiz. From the drop-down menu under the settings icon, which is the three dots on the right side of the screen, for that object, select Share to Commons. The Commons Share Resources page will appear. First, decide who can use this resource you will have three options to select from, only me, all of Salisbury University, or public, any Canvas Commons user. Next, you can indicate if this is a special type of content, such as a template or an open textbook. This is optional, so you don't need to use it for something like a quiz. Scrolling down, you will then select the license under which others can use your learning object. For most learning objects, we recommend the option Attribution, Non-Commercial, Share Alike. If you are interested in reviewing the meaning behind the options, click the link here that says Help Me Choose, and it will open a new tab and you can read about the differences. Next, you will provide metadata information such as a title, a description, and tags. Tags are helpful to allow someone to search and locate your learning object. So for this particular resource, we are going to say practice quiz and introductions. It is also recommended you add an image which will be displayed in the listings of available objects. If you don't have your own image, you can search Flickr for possible images to use. To choose the grade or level appropriate for your learning object, click and drag the white circle slider so that the blue line only highlights the grades or levels this object applies to. In this case, we will identify it for undergraduate and graduate level. Once you have entered in all the necessary information, scroll down and click Share. Learning objects for Salisbury University can also be organized by groups. For example, if you want to share something only within a particular department, ID&D can establish a group for you to share information. Just reach out and contact us. Thank you for watching this tip on the Canvas Commons. For more information, please contact ID&D or use the link to Infrastructure's Canvas Commons community pages provided at the end of our KB article on Canvas Commons.